that just human nature because you're playing a number one team in the nation? Or did you uh, not see that? I don't, I don't know. I try to just – we prepare the same way every week. Um, I know it will feel different when you when you get there Saturday. I mean, I'm not uh, naive. I'm not stupid. I don't – but uh, I don't think you can – I think any kind of preparation that calls for you to be on a roller coaster ride, I don't think you'll ever get where you want to get. Um, because, uh, as you know, in this league, the minute you do that, the, the other team will beat you. The, if it's not Alabama or whoever. So, I mean, were, you know, I think our focus is good. I think our kids are, uh, you know, they want to go and compete. And we just got to make sure they understand the plan, put in a good plan, and um, hopefully they can execute it and take care of the ball. How would you feel about Denzel Kambici today? Uh, he's close. You know, I didn't see all of it. I stayed down here and watched a couple series when when he was in, and I, you could tell he's he's got a little, uh, a slight, uh, little hitch in his in his when he when he try to tries to burst, but he, he's uh, better than I really thought he would be. Um, so, if I had to say today, I would uh, now. So I think tomorrow morning would be a big test. Does it blow up? Does it you know? But. Uh, you know, if, if things progress like that, yeah, he'll make the trip. Um, and if our staff feels like he knows the plan and is, progresses through the week where it's not swelling up or giving him much problems, you know, I, I would expect to see him on the field. But I, it's still, a, we need tomorrow morning to be a, a good test. How do you feel about the line just handling all the different things that Alabama yeah. likes to do up front? Uh, yeah, they're, they're going to get you some. Hopefully we can uh, limit what they do by staying in some manageable downs and distance. They, they can't do. Uh, I don't. I, I, sh I shouldn't say they can't. They can, but um, you're, you're more apt to give up. I mean, when you do those things, you got some some quicker throws and hot throws. They can't, you know, guard down on everything mm -hmm. unless they're not going to play with a roof player, which is that's not really who he is because um, he doesn't want to give up explosive plays. So, so if you stay in some of those shorter situations, they're less apt to do some of those because you can get it to them and convert first downs. You get in third and uh, you know plus five, it's fair game and it's a uh, it's a lot of stuff. So you know we're uh, we just gotta hope we get the protection set. And this is one game where where our quarterbacks certainly have to uh, know um, where they're weak at in protection. And they better have their eyes on it. They've been playing those new. You've been playing these new guys at guards. Have they met your expectations so yeah, far? Yeah, I think they've competed well, and playing for them keeps them fresh. And you know, I think it's a it's by committee, and and maybe them being fresher has uh, has helped balance our loss of Aaron. And uh, I can't say that I'm disappointed. They're not as uh, maybe not as uh, as good when you have to be in man protection schemes as Aaron was, but uh, we, we seem to be getting by with it right now and, and maybe a little better than getting by. So I still say there's a lot of things that will be determined the next few weeks. So Good. He, he, this is helped as he's been. He's ready to go and had a good practice today, a good one Sunday. So uh, that's, that's another guy that, that should give us some reps. You know, at the end of the year last year, he was arguably playing as well as anybody. So we're excited to get him back. What's what happening, Vince? The red zone success for you guys offensively. Mm, you know, uh, I don't know. You know, that's that's a tricky question because if I answer it in the way I really want to, it it, uh, it sounds uh, maybe egotistical. Or uh, we we work hard at planning for it, but your players have to make plays now when you get down there. And, um, I don't spend a lot of time on. Uh, you know, ever since I got to, to be a head coach at this level, it's different than uh, I used to try to do everything. And now I, I spend an enormous amount of time on um, red zone and tempo for me. And then, you know, Dan and, and Matt do short yardage and goal line. And Mo and Nick do our check world. And, you know, we've got a good, you know, I can spend most of my time on just how are we going to tempo and the red zone. And, Sorry. Go ahead. That's After the Vanderbilt game late last year, I wonder, was, was the summer, was there a lot of uh, thought process for you in the summer on the on red zone? Yeah. Uh, we actually were very good last year, yeah. except for the Vandy game. 
Um, and looking back at the, and I think I'm my worst critic, but we had some good plays. But you got to have players that execute it and see what you see and, and, and then make sure it goes to the right spot. And we, we didn't do that that game for whatever reason. And then um, we had a better plan for it this year against, against Bandy for sure. Having Vince back, what's that do for the offense? Yeah, I think it just gives us more depth, more fresh legs. Another guy that can uh, be a deep threat and be a be a uh, you know a guy that uh, we both feels comfortable going to. And he's been in these battles before, and you never know when you're going to get a turf toe or a, or something that slows one of them down. So we we, we welcome him back. I know you've talked a lot about Jeff making changes off the field, but when did you start to see him making that adjustment? Uh, probably the end of the spring semester, and then. Um, you know, I was real curious to see if he would sustain it throughout the summer workouts and check in with Paul and check in with Pat. And they would all, oh, man, yeah, he, he's working harder than he ever has. He's, uh, you know, he used to struggle to make his times on his runs and he was blowing them away this summer. And so you really felt like it, it, it's serious. You know, he really wants to dedicate himself to be the best he can be this year. What do you think it was? Was it just facing the end of his career? Yeah, well, I think, uh, I think that and I think you you come to reality at some point in life where you look at yourself and you have to define it. You know, is this what I want to be be about? Is this you know what are the things that are really important to me and am I making them a priority? And I think he kind of came to one of those points and um, fortunately he chose the right the right way.